good afternoon ladies and gentlemen good morning and good evening also based on which part of the world have you logged in from thanks for logging in the topic today is a green IT and based on over 100 implementations that have taken place across globe little about myself I'm the chief operating officer and had sustainability practice at continuity and resilience in short we call ourselves core I have over 30 years experience in the industry some of my affiliations in front of you now I'll be happy to be in touch with you please feel free to send LinkedIn invitations uh, learning sharing according to me is not one-time activity it's not an hour activity which will finish with the webinar it is continuous and forever and for that reason it's good to stay in touch introduction to the company continuity and resilience core in short we are an ISO 22301 certified management consulting company dealing in four major areas business continuity management crisis management ITDR green IT and sustainability and in these areas we consult train assess and certify individuals as well as organizations green IT times is spoken as a negative term also taken to be a negative term also as a buzzword as well I believe everyone knows green IT but not necessarily everyone understands green IT there was a time long ago when I had not gone deep into this domain in this area I would have thought that if I, I was wearing green while working on IT that was green IT could be as simple as that or if my laptop was green colored that was green IT but I would like to spend next five minutes or so and establishing this cradle to grave story which helps us to understand the overall scope of green IT there are six major <coughs> stages in the life of an IT equipment sourcing manufacturing packaging distribution and sales usage and disposal and all these need to be greened that's when we would be able to claim green IT for example sourcing to be environment friendly whatever machines are being used there those machines being power efficient fuel efficient water efficient proper disposal of wastewater machines running on renewable power to the extent possible then then sourcing is green 
during manufacturing using less or no to toxic material reducing overall usage of material and if that manufacturing is happening inside a green building in the past we would have asked for more and more packaging for any item any equipment but green IT principles say basic minimum required packaging packaging which is easily disposable is easily recyclable best if it's already made of recycled material then packaging would be green after which the equipment would have to be transported so the transportation happening on fuel efficient vehicles vehicles running on biofuels to the extent possible sales happening inside a green building it's only after these four stages that it would come to you and me the users so the use happening inside green building machine being power efficient I'm using Windows 7 operating system that operating system being efficient I'm also making use of PowerPoint application to make this webinar deliver this webinar and go to meeting application so these two applications also being efficient then the usage would be called green and at some point in time this equipment would die for me at that time this needs to be disposed of that disposal being appropriate safe efficient machines machines running on biofuel components being decomposed and being decomposed into safe material once again then disposal will be in. so from starting to end beginning to end that's why this is called cradle to grave story some people also call it womb to tomb story attempt is that the material never goes out of cycle even after disposal if it can be used to manufacture a new item there are certain parameters to make or to claim that a building is a green building I'll start from the material design power efficiency water efficiency overall resources efficiency I say this in a different way also from cradle to grave is the scope for the NIT at the same time an IT information technology that is light on all resources not only material not only power but on our pockets also it needs to be cost effective as well then it is green IT to me question comes to mind immediately why should we and this slide starting from top going clockwise because green IT helps to reduce capex operating expenditures go down equipment breakdowns go down energy consumption reduces infrastructure requirements reduce carbon footprint reduces and this is as simple as that if you are, if you are using less if you are using less material if you are using less power that means our carbon footprint is also less 
e-waste gets reduced because the original equipment less material has been used. Software licensing challenges go down as well as patch management efforts go down. There are so many benefits of adopting green IT practices. A different look at the benefits of green IT implementations. Again starting from top and going clockwise. It enhances the top line which means revenues. Enhances bottom line which means the profits. So that's directly linked with the finances of the organization. There is money in green IT. Enhances corporate responsibility and marketability as well as stakeholder satisfaction. These stakeholders may be internal employees, these may be external customers, regulators, investors, society at large. So I'm going to attempt with the help of over 100 implementations across the globe to prove that green IT is not a hype, rather it's the need of the R. There's money in green IT and it's pure business. The business of business is making money. Good revenues, good profits, ethical way. Green IT helps to do this. What does a business survive for? For example, client satisfaction, customer satisfaction, to make good revenues, to make good profits. Reduce capital expenditure, reduce operating expenditure. In a hospital, to be able to take care of patients effectively, efficiently for a hotel, to be able to take care of visitors effectively and efficiently, to be able to comply to regulatory requirements. Keep the government happy, have less dent on environment, overall take care of the society. So when we are saying all this, another question that comes to mind is, has anyone done? Who has done what? So that's what I'm going to be sharing. It's no discussion on these slides. We will just keep reading. In between, I'll stop and perhaps add one or two cents. Increased user satisfaction, which business does not need this? So Green IT is in line, directly in line with the objectives of the organization. Increased compliance to legal requirements, improved patient care for the hospital, obvious, enhanced capability to meet seasonal spikes. Companies like 123greetings.com would have seasonal spikes and systems would fall apart. Green IT helps to take care of this. Competitive edge. I believe all organizations need this. CFOs will be very happy with this one. Increase in revenues. Faster customer services so that we deliver more, so that customers ask for more. Reduced total cost of ownership. Once again, 
CFOs will be very happy with this. Lead certification of data center. Lead is one of those techniques to prove that the green building is green. Reduced cost of doing business. CEOs will be very happy. Huge return on investment. CEOs and CFOs will be happy to invest in green IT. Increased customer satisfaction, I believe, is an objective for all organizations. 100% decision accuracy, getting closer to the customer, improved business reputation. So what we have seen is some of these achievements are directly in terms of money. Why? It is said that there is no value of a reputation. You can't put some figure, dollars or pounds or rupees or their hands to reputation. Green IT helps here as well. Zero checkout time is a parameter for hotel industry. Reduced cost per policy for an insurance company. Better work-life balance for employees. Most organizations are struggling at this point is very important parameter from the point of view of the employees and Green IT is helping to achieve this as well. Better understanding of customer needs. There have been so many examples that the customer asked for A but what was delivered was a Z. And the answer to come out of such situations is once again Green IT implementations. Reduced revenue cycles, which means whatever bills, invoices you raise, those are paid faster in short time period. Again, a key area for CFOs. Increased product offerings. So we saw what had been achieved. And about 25, 30 different parameters which are in direct line with the organizational objectives are in line with the business. A next question comes to mind, Daman, has anyone done this? And I'm going to once again just reading out these names to you. Please pay attention. What we're looking at the nature of the organization, location of the organization, size of the organization, complexity of the organization. Bharat Oman Refineries, State Bank of India, we see immediately, first two examples itself are two different industries. And DPL, Jindal Agro, Godrej Agrovet, Standard Chartered Bank, State Bank of India, an Indian bank, which has branches across the globe. Standard Chartered Bank, a multinational bank. KPIT Cummins, Divan Housing Finance Limited, Aegon Religier, Hyper City, Vedanta, Narayana Hrudalia, a hospital, Hexabair, SR Oil, C. Siran Cooperative Bank. So we have seen some big names from banking industry, but a small name as well.
थाने जनता सहकारी बैंक यस हस एफ आर पी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ठाड़ा पावर पाण्डिचेरी कोऑपरेटिव बैंक टाटा ए आई या लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी सो न्यू सेक्टर कमिंग अप फर्स्ट सोर्स क्वालिटी डेयरी न्यू इंडस्ट्री वंडर सीमेंट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सीमेंट कमिंग इनटू पिक्चर इंफोसिस वन ऑफ द आईटी जाइंट्स एसआर रॉयल सुंदरम फेयर पोर्टल यशराज फिल्म्स कैन यू बिलीव दिस पीएमसी बैंक बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज अ कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्री महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट सो गवर्नमेंट्स आल्सो इंप्लीमेंटिंग एंड बेनिफिटिंग फ्रॉम ग्रीन आईटी practices people interactive shoppers stop new industry i hope you agree with me future group sr group yes bank crompton greaves manufacturing but not cement it's electrical equipment seva group cognizant technologies another it giant from india flat card completely different industry sector e-commerce industry for example Maruti Suzuki manufacturing but from Ocho SRL Bits I get Airtel clients so not only that I have implemented and I am benefiting from Green IT I am using Green IT for the benefit of my clients also this is a very good example Venjit, Fullerton, India, NDTV, media comes into picture now. MPS, Doha Bank, European Commission. So I had said, government implementing and benefiting, or government entities. Surrey County Council, similar example. Cambridge University Hospitals, Euronet, Funding Corporation. Stevens and Bolton, Flybe Airline, aviation industry also benefiting from Green IT. WTB Group. Viva Info, MD Synergy, ICICI Securities, HDFC Bank, Seven Hills Health City Hospital, Intellinet, Royal Orchid Group of Hotels. Hotels coming into picture first time. So while I have been just reading the names, I had asked you to pay attention. I hope you have been able to make this judgment. Some names are very well known. Some some names are little less known. Some are big. Some are small. Some are spread across globe. Some are local to a city, state, or country. But from different industry sectors and almost all industry sectors i believe manikshan group 
गुजरात गवर्नमेंट ऑस्ट्रेलियन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिफेंस डेल टू गिव एग्जाम्पल वॉट दे डिड इन द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ दियर ग्रीन आइट जर्नी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉज अक्रॉस ग्लोब फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डेस्कटॉप्स और लैपटॉप्स दे जस्ट स्टार्टेड स्विचिंग ऑफ वेन नॉट इन यूज कैन यू बिलीव their energy bills went down by 30 to 40 percent microsoft sustainability victoria toyota australia intel tcs while many it names have come or technology names have come but i'm sure out of 50 there are only 10 in that category so i'm repeating that it's not only for big ones not only for small ones not only for it companies but for all companies of all sizes all sectors and all countries anywhere in the world can implement and benefit from green it implementation yes new industry comes into picture orbis financials point to ponder here is orbis financial is about 30 people names like infosys cognizant intel microsoft dell ranging from 50000 to tcs 400000 plus employees all could all have and all have been reaping the benefits of implementing green it lnt oxford bookstore see the variety of industries one two three great things Max New York Life Insurance Company, Geometric, Apollo Munich Health Insurance, Godrej Consumer Products Limited, Sardar Patel Institute of Technology, Bajaj Finsar, Emerson, APJ Surendra Corporate Services. penar industries nagarjuna fertilizers another manufacturing but a different type now we are talking of fertilizers as well mindtree eaton dr reddy's manufacturing but now the pharmaceutical exchange exchange and another example from stocks exchange range would be national stock exchange as well k raheja corporation pvmi premier in don bosco ngo so even ngos can implement and benefit So having seen the benefits of implementing green IT, having seen what has been achieved, having seen who have done this, next question is so how can I gain? And the good practice is to adopt a structured approach to green IT. the structured approach that we teach in bcs foundation certificate in green it course that first of all understand the concept that's the first step initiate green it program someone to lead the program first policy is to have a policy 
find all different possibilities and I'm saying simplest step is start switching off when not in use. Most complex could be going to cloud. Identify low hanging fruits. This may be different for different organizations. In any new program, it's good to make show few initial results. So good practice would say, do what is easy in the beginning. Then keep raising the bar for yourself. Prioritize what is to be done when. Create a baseline. Where do we stand today with respect to our energy consumption, fuel consumption, carbon print, for example. Set smart targets. Where do we want to be in one, two or three years? Calculate your current carbon footprint. Nothing comes free in this world, so calculate the budgetary requirements as well. Calculate return on investment. Calculate payback periods. Find out total cost of ownership. Based on these ROI, payback period, TOC, TCO, sorry, attempt to write the business case for the CEO and CFO. Get their approval. Any program would have some risks also, so identify and mitigate. You may not be able to do all yourself, so you may like to identify capable vendors or partners, consultants, etc. Implement, check effectiveness, celebrate success, follow PDCA, plan to check act cycle, of continual improvement and achieve sustainability. This is not environmental sustainability only, this is overall business sustainability. So as I said, this structured approach is taught in BCS Foundation Certificate in Green IT course. This is BCS workshop, BCS is British Computer Society. Duration is three days. Certificate comes directly from BCS. If you would like to know more, please write to us at info at continuityandresilience.com. So based on these discussions, I'm concluding. It makes sense to go green IT for sustainable development couple of repetitions. The scope is wide from cradle to grave. It's directly linked with finances of the company, whether top line or the bottom line. Linked with user and customer satisfaction. Or linked with compliance. Linked with overall sustainability of the organization. Quick look at our other key workshops, five days, CBCA workshop, 22301 lead auditor workshop, 22301 lead implementer workshop, crisis management specialist, BCM specialist and ITDR specialist workshops will be duration three days. Risk management specialist is two days workshop and few professional level workshops each of one day duration. Here I would like to stop with thanks to you all. As I said, learning sharing is not one-time activity, it is not half an hour, 45 minutes webinar activity. It is a continuous journey and is forever. So stay in touch. Feel free to write to me and I'll be happy to respond to any questions that you may have. We do have time for questions even now and I'll pause now for you 
to type in your questions on your screens and I will attempt to pick one by one. If you have any questions about whatever we have discussed about green IT, please type on your screens. We will pick up one by one. We hope you enjoyed these discussions. We hope that you would continue to be part of our future webinars also. At the same time, we request you to forward the invitations when you receive the invitations from us. Please forward invitation to your friends and colleagues also who you believe will benefit from these. As always, our webinars are free and will be free. but will not be successful without your active participation. Question is, can we get the PPT maybe without company names? We will post the full recording of the webinar and we'll share the link with you. Even that recording may be shared with anyone. Please feel free to do that. If no more questions, then I would like to log off. Thanks to you all once again. Thank you very much. This is your host, Daman, logging off. Bye-bye.